Hello, hello, guys. It's uh, 145 Shadow Stalker or Fari, and I'm bringing you another tutorial. And this time, it's a little bit different. We're gonna, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Adobe Dreamweaver CS3, this program right here. And basically, I'm gonna be showing you how to make something like this. And uh, this is basically, uh, let me just give you a quick review on th what Adobe Dreamweaver is. It's basically a program uh, used to make, you know, amateur websites. Now, I, I haven't actually posted my website yet, like, uh, published it, only because it's a bit too hard. And you need to do all sorts of domains and FTPs and, uh, yeah, but this is something I made by myself. I'll show you step by step. I'll try to make it as clear as possible. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so you got Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. Obviously, you open it. And you see this first page here, first part, sorry. You want to click HTML. And you get these this thing with all sorts of these buttons and whatnot. Uh, your first step is to make a table. At the table, depending how much content you want on your website, uh, you just fiddle around with rows and columns. Uh, you don't really need to worry about this. Well, you sort of do. You can change it to pixels, uh, table width, and you can just mess around with this part. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to click OK. I'm satisfied with it and you can see I got this tiny box now Dreamweaver doesn't really offer a lot of variety of freedom freedom to make your website uh, so you gotta sort of be patient remember this is just an amateur site but uh, yeah so the reason why you wanna make a table is one this is for the picture now the way you put a picture is that for instance let's go to Google you find an image I'm gonna be typing something random like like so and you click on this image you just save your image uh, yeah I'm not really gonna be going through all that stuff but it's very simple you save your image go back and instead of copy pasting because if you copy paste your picture will not like show up when you uh, open it on the web so yeah what you want to do is click insert and uh, you go to image or a shorter way is control alt i you can basically open any image you want so let's uh, get mine and uh, yeah so let's say i want like whatever let's say i want this one you can click, you don't really need to fill it out, just click something random and you can see I got my picture and uh, you can make it smaller if you want, I think this is a bit too big yeah you can make it smaller, decrease the size whatever you want to do with it, your choice of freedom it's just an amateur and you got these ones they're for your text now for example I'm going to be making something about a website for helping people new to Call of Duty Black Ops. Now let's say something like about. Okay. Now, as you see on uh, my uh, that preview I just showed you, uh, it's called hyperlink. Hyperlink, if you don't know, it's basically uh, you uh, like like you click something and it takes you to another page it's like simple stuff you go to Google tons of hyperlink so let's say I want to make a ref like I want to hyperlink to about what you want to do is go to file new or control N click on HTML again and you can see it has a new tab a new tab has this form and there you can click about and you can make anything you want it doesn't really matter once you're done, you're gonna click file 
and you're gonna go save or control s so I'm gonna I have my own folder for this because you're gonna be adding a lot of things when you're making a Dreamweaver a website using Dreamweaver sorry so I, I'll just name this about black ops so you click save and uh, you go back to your previous one you wanna highlight about and you see this uh, blue chain or whatever it is it has called hyperlink you click on it next what you wanna do is you see this uh, folder and that's where you're gonna link it to I'm just gonna find mine it's about black ops you click on it and uh, OK click OK again and you can see that it's underlined and blue meaning it is going to when I click it it's going to take me to this page right here and sort of you can say that that's basically how you want to do the hyperlinking if you're making a tutorial on weapons on black ops you're gonna need a lot of folder like you just saw before and uh, yeah this is just the basic concept uh, if you want to preview your page you go to this uh, this uh, internet thing uh, earth whatever picture click on it it says preview on chrome internet explorer whatever browser you have I'm gonna preview mine on chrome uh, yeah okay whatever whatever save it random uh, just wait and uh, sooner or later you yours will come up now notice that it's not actually link it's not www dot but there you go see the table outline is gone you can extend this click and you can see that when I click it it takes me to my uh, page thing so yeah that's the end of part one uh, stay tuned for part two